turn signal. One organization is working to bring an issue to light that's been kept in the dark for decades. Operation Outcry exposes the truth about abortion's devastating impact on women. Cindy Collins with Operation Outcry says her group has collected over 4,000 testimonies of women who've gone through the abortion process. Sometimes women feel that they are bound in shame or this silent secret. And it's time for the women of our nation, especially Christian women, to walk through the healing process and the redemptive side of the pain of abortion. Uh, women are often captured by abortion at the very most vulnerable time during their pregnancy. A woman's never the same after abortion, and she may find relief in the very beginning after the abortion procedure takes place, but soon after that she finds out that she is walking in a living nightmare that will be consumed with guilt, grief, depression, nightmares of her hearing her babies cry, physical complications such as a higher risk for breast cancer, perforation of the uterus, uh, possibly infertility, leading into broken relationships. These testimonies are proving to be helpful from a legal standpoint as well. In a 2007 Supreme Court case that upheld the federal partial birth abortion ban, Justice Anthony Kennedy wrote in his majority opinion that, some women come to regret their choice to abort the infant life they once created and sustained. 180 courageous women went ahead and submitted an amicus curiae brief to the Supreme Court telling their testimonies and stories of how abortion had affected and hurt them. And those testimonies were used to make the decision to ban partial birth abortion in the United States. The issue is even more pressing today. That's because Congress is considering a health care reform plan that would force insurance companies to cover abortions. To find out what you can do or to share how you've been impacted by an abortion, go to OperationOutcry.org.